Hello again, my dear friend. This is Alexander from Shaska Tech again. Thank you, thank you for sharing with us your your demo video and also your updated information together with your extra patience. Yeah. Uh, in fact, as promised in our messages sent to you yesterday, uh, today, today we uploaded the video and together with your detailed description of the issue to Sunlink, the original manufacturer, and uh, we made several rounds communications with the staff, with, with their technicians. Uh, after viewing your demo video, uh, the technicians of the Sunlink found that, sure, first, uh, we can confirm that somewhere of the issue may exist. Yeah, yeah, according to, to the phenomenon that is now displayed on, on the video. Uh, yet, however, uh, technicians of Sunlink also uh, provided some useful information. Uh, and my, my dear friend, if you are convenient, uh, we recommend that you may do some further check to find out where the issue could be. Yeah, uh, if you are willing to, of course. Yeah. Uh, so for better sharing involved information, uh, I again pick up one set of the WS six nine eight zero this live final device from warehouse department. Yeah, to do this demo video. And uh, I hope that information I will share can help in a certain way. First, first, uh, in your video, as as we can see, yeah, you 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 do it correctly. You you. Uh, you already installed the battery with the back side of this device very firmly, and you press the button of power but uh, there is no indicator light on and the device is not powered on it's not starting to work it's a pity yeah uh, we suppose that some maybe it could be caused by some issue that happens in the cross-border trans transit process we guess so uh, sometimes some some certain type of violence uh, activity caused by the guys of the postal systems may cause some issue. For example, this through the password. Yeah, uh, of course, it's a kind of, of topic. Uh, yeah, uh, first, and uh, as, you, as you showed to us, you have already powered the ACDC power adapter, uh, and you plug it firmly with the interface or the DC interface to charge it, but this charge CHG indicator light is still not on. Yeah, it's an issue. And now, uh, let's check, uh, check, uh, do some steps, uh, do some operations to, to generally find where the issue could be. Yeah, first, first, uh, my dear friend, I wonder whether you own some other similar ACDC power adapter in your hands. If you do have some other uh, power adapter with output capacity of 12 volts, 12 volts DC and the amps could be 1.5 amps or even higher or even higher 2 amps or 3 amps that will be very nice because because uh, we can uh, easily find out whether this ACDC power adapter is okay or not through change it but uh, I honestly say this kind of possibility is is very very tiny yeah because this power adapter uh, offered by Sunlink is very good one and it's always stable but uh, this kind of exchange operation can uh, first exclude the possibility of the adapter yeah <clears throat> this is step one. If you are convenient, you can do it. Of course, based on pre premise that you can have second or third available 12 volts AC DC power adapters at hand. Yeah. And second, uh, my my dear friend, uh, let's do such kind of a uh, kind uh, small operation. Yeah. Let's pull off the the battery out of the device and check it. Previously, I was not aware of this point, but uh, in today's conversation, I was told by the technicians of Sunlink, so I feel necessary to share with you too. Yeah, as we can see, this is a DC 
uh, this is the this is the battery, and this is the DC uh, interface, and this is USB interface. First, first, my friend, I wonder whether you are convenient. Yeah, because this use USB interface is an output interface, and typically we can use it to charge a smartphone. Oh, uh, I, I mean that if we can get a, a smartphone and its USB charging cable, we can try to plug it into the, this this USB interface of the of the battery. We can see whether the smartphone is charged or not. If it is charged, yeah, it indicates that this this battery has certain power inside that is stored inside, and this this battery should be the good battery, and the issue must exist on the device itself. And uh, another another point, as we can see, there is the DC DC interface. Yeah, in fact. If we use our power adapter, its DC head can directly plug in. Yeah, plug in. And if we plug this 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 end to the AC socket, then we can directly use this uh, power adapter to charge the battery. Yeah, uh, to bypass the device. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me have a have a try. Uh, to be frank, to be frank. Personally, I didn't try it uh, before before recording this video. So, uh, in fact, I didn't know that this interface can be used for charging. Let me have a check. Of course, it will, uh, there do not exist any indicator to show whether it is charged or not. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is this indicator light inside this USB interface. Uh, my, my dear friend, this could be a good operation to verify whether the power adapter is good or not and whether this battery can be charged or not or just uh, cannot be charged with zero power stored inside. Yeah, uh, this is a good way to, to identify whether the power adapter or the, and the battery is good or not. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. If if this charging can be supported, can be supported. Uh, I think that it uh, uh, show some info, basic information. This power adapter is good one, and this battery should be a good one. And if this battery can be, uh, if uh, we use the USB cable to charge a smartphone or some other. A tiny electric appliance, yeah, that uh, be powered by the USB interface. We can connect it to verify whether the power supply has sufficient power inside or not. Yeah, and uh, in this case, in this case, uh, my my dear friend, let's uh, we recommend that we can charge, we can charge this battery through using this. AC DC power adapter lasting for about uh, 30 mi minutes, yeah, 30 minutes, half an hour. And then we install again, we install again into our device after being charged for about 30 minutes. And we install again, and then we try to power it on, checking whether the device can be on or still not yeah uh, of course anyway anyway purely according to the demo video and the current information you have shared with us some issue must exist yeah uh, well I guess the possibility of the device itself may be significant I admit this point uh, after all sometimes yeah violent activity in the cross-border transit process is um, controlled by us and I suppose that could be the cause uh, because before shipping to you the device was charged was preset and was pre-tested simply pre-tested by myself before packing this parcel to you yeah and uh, after all these uh, operations uh, after all these operations yeah uh, we, we suppose 
We suppose that uh, uh, we can do something based on your updated opinion. For example, if you want to get full refund, of course, naturally that will be supported and we will offer you uh, the returning free cost for convenience of your returning shipment back to us and then we will offer the full order refund back to you when we, when we get it. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, based on your opinion one and if you still need a new device my opinion is as follows yeah uh, after your after the previous test uh, if we identify that this power adapter is good and the battery is good okay my friend let's keep the the ACTC power adapter and also the and also this at hands and uh, we will still pay you the free cost for returning shipment of this device back to us. In the meantime, we are willing to arrange a new shipment of this of this device. Yeah, and plus form formal and formal packing with bubble paper with other materials to to avoid being damaged like this time and arrange our shipment to you. In the meantime, yeah. Uh, it means that we can exchange the device where we keep all the remaining accessories at hand without uh, needs of returning shipment or new shipment back to you. Okay, uh, uh, I, 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 I summarize such kind of operations if you are willing to at the time of your convenience. We can check the battery and the power adapter whether they are good or not. And we can try to charge it directly through the ACTC power adapter to for 30 minutes and install again to verify that, whether the device can be powered on at that time. Yeah, and we can use a smartphone or some other electric appliance to indicate to to verify whether the battery has power or not. Yeah, uh, there exists some useful information. So issue must exist somewhere on the device. Yeah, according to analysis of the selling staff, and we are sorry for that. Thank you, thank you for your time to to watch this short video. Yeah, and our colleague Lily will write message to you. In the meantime, thank you. Bye bye.